Hi guys, welcome to the presentation. In this example, what we're going to do is execute the distance between two points on a number plane. We have the two coordinates. We have the first coordinate of S all the way across to point T. Now that is the distance we're looking for. Now it's a short distance and we could kind of estimate just by looking at it and go like it's about one, two, three, four, five, approximately six units in distance, but we want to get an accurate and precise answer. The way to do that is to use something called the distance formula. Many of you have seen this before. Here it is right behind me. There's our distance formula. Now, they call it the distance formula because it's got a span and a spread and the scope of it is kind of long. This formula is far. As you can see, it's a long formula. Now, we have the coordinates already written up. Coordinates for S are up here, negative 1 and 2, X and Y. And coordinates for T are right over here, 5 and 4, x equals 5 and y equals 4. What we're going to do is drag and drop, slot and substitute those points into this long distance formula and calculate and come up with the distance between s and t right over here. So we're looking at an approximation of around 6 units. So let's start off by taking these points and putting them in. But before we do that, first things first, and that is to focus on writing up and labeling what each coordinate is. That way, when we write it up, we're more likely to get it right here in the formula. So let me just do that. So this is x1, y1, and over here we have x2, y2, being the first point number one, and the second point number two here. So now we can actually substitute correctly into the formula. So just going through the formula one more time, for those of you that haven't seen it that often, it's D for distance equals the big giant long square root sign x2 minus x1, all squared, plus y2 minus y1, all squared up there, as you can see that little two up there. And then the whole answer, we square root it to get the exact distance between S and T. So let's begin, let's start. I'm going to start substituting here. So we've got x2 minus x1. So let me just substitute in there. So x2 looking up here is number 5 right there. So we substitute that right in there. So it's 5 minus, let's look at x1. That's over here to the left. That's actually minus 1. So it's a minus, minus 1. Now see the two brackets? Let's put them in. And it's all to the power of 2 plus Okay, let's go to y2. We're looking for y2. That's right above us here. That's 4 right over there. Let's put that in. 4 take away. There's our y1. Let's go back to the first point. y1 is right here. It's 2. Let's put that in there. Put the brackets in there. And of course, there's the squared right over there. And we do want to put the square root sign all over that. So let's put the square root sign. Okay, there's our formula for step number two. Let's work out what's inside the brackets first. So let's have a look here on the left. We have five minus minus one. So minus with a negative together, minus minus turns into a plus. That's right, many of you know that. So it's a positive there, so it becomes five plus one. Let me put a plus there. That turns into a plus. So five plus one is a six. Put the brackets there, bring down the two. Plus 4 minus 2, that's easy, that's only 2. Put the brackets and of course let's put the squared there. Now we want to put the big square root sign on top of that for the distance. There we are there. Now we have 6 squared plus 2 squared. Let's fill in the gaps now. 6 squared is 36, so let's write that in. Plus 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. So let's put the 4 there. Big giant square root sign again. All right, we're looking at our distance between S and T, that length around there. We're looking at an approximation of around 6, as I said earlier, visually. So 36 plus 4 is a grand total of 40. So the distance there is the square root of 40. Always keeping that square root sign. Now all we need to do is go on the calculator work out the square root of 40. Now on the calculator, the square root of 40 is first square root, then 40. That's going to give us to two decimal places. 
that's 6.32 units for the distance between S and T.